Hello, this is a video that will show you how to remove the rumble motors of a Microsoft Xbox 360 wireless controller. Following these instructions will avoid the warranty on your controller, so do so at your own risk. These are some reasons why you would want to remove the rumble motors from your controller. Doing so will make your controller significantly lighter, would increase the battery life of the controller, and assuming you don't like the rumble feature, removes it entirely from your controller. Now here is Joe Powell with the instructions on how to remove the rumble motors. Here are the materials you're going to need. We all, of course, have the controller, and we have the Torx T8 with the security bit screwdriver. How we're going to start is we're going to flip the controller over and remove the battery pack and just place it to the side. I'm going to point out that there is a security sticker here with a barcode on it. I've already removed this sticker. Doing so voids your warranty but you must remove this sticker in order to access this middle screw right here. How we're going to start is we're going to move these six outer screws first with the seventh screw in the middle last. And here we go. Alright, we've loosened up all the screws, and some of them are still in there, but shouldn't matter. What we're going to do is we're going to grab the charging port and the mic connector, and we're going to grab the battery pack and rock it forward. And here we go. Just like that. Make sure you don't lose your screws. And we have all seven of those. Here's your circuit board. Before touching it, make sure you either are wearing an anti-static wristband or ground yourself by touching a metal object. What I'm going to do is I'm going to touch the metal leg of the table. Alright, these are the two white plugs that you want to remove. All we're going to do is we're going to remove the upper portion or the male end of the plug and wiggle it out like so. There's one. There's two. Now all we're going to do is take the rumble motors out, set them to the side. We're going to take the battery pack, I mean the back plate, and put it back on with the triggers first like that and you got to push the springs of the battery in and make sure this clicks down we're going to replace the middle screw first then we're going to flip it over and make sure all the buttons work before we go any further Then, we, then we're just going to continue putting the other screws in. Now all we have left is to replace the battery pack. Flip the controller over and we're ready to go. 